To determine if BF3 is polar or nonpolar, we'll first start with the Lewis structure. So when you look at the Lewis structure for BF3, you can see that those three fluorine atoms, they're around that central boron, and there's no lone pairs on the boron. The Lewis structure is really an essential part of figuring out the polarity, but it doesn't really tell us right now what the shape of the molecule is. We need to figure that out, and we'll use VSEPR, valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, to figure out the shape. And once we do that, then the polarity will be uh, more apparent to us. So here we have, if you imagine the purple sphere, that's the boron, and we're going to add three fluorine atoms on it. There's one, two, and you notice they spread out to be as far away from each other as they can. They're repelling. Then we add the third one, and this is the shape that we'll have for BF3. We can see that it's a symmetrical shape. You really don't have any poles, any concentrations of electrons that would give it a negative or a positive side. And because of this, the symmetricality, this is a nonpolar molecule. If we look at the surface of the molecule, we'll see that there really are no poles. There's no concentration where the electrons are spending more time around one of the atoms. And that gray, that just means that it's a uniform charge. That makes this, of course, nonpolar. So BF3, because it's symmetrical, is nonpolar. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.